Hey guys, Karina here, your Lucid Living Coach. How are you guys? I wanted to do a quick video before I go to see my nephew at a Christmas play. So I'm wearing my Christmas sweater. My Christmas sweater. I'm inviting people. Sorry. I'm inviting people to come play with me for a little ride on the magic ride of the magic ride. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I never know what I'm saying. Yeah, I do. I know now. I didn't know before, but I know now. So I'm just inviting people because this is what we're supposed to be doing right now. Inviting people. They can watch if they want. You know? You get invitations to different things. And you choose whether you want to watch it or not. You know? That's a choice. We all have choices. Who we want to hang out with. What we want to see. Who we want to... You know, just things. All right, there we go. I have two views. What's up? What's up, Jamie? Ooh, ooh, it's my friends, my friends in the neighborhood. What's up, Heather and John? Boos, boos, moose, moose. I hope everyone's well. My husband is laughing at your singing. Oh, fuck. I always sing, and, and then after it comes out of my mouth, I know what it means, and it's really like, and then I get all weird. But I've always been like that, so now I can just be myself to the world, and because I have a gift, and I don't, wanna, I don't want to um, just keep it all to myself. We all have gifts, okay? So it's our choice whether we want to use them or not. We could use them for bad or we can use them for good. So I choose to use it for good. And if, you know, people think I'm crazy, that's, that's their deal. So today has been a special day, okay? I got to visit some old places from childhood. One being a client called me. So I've been cleaning houses and organizing houses for I, oh, pl 10 plus years. And now I've switched to life coaching and therapy and just helping spread love and light. And I am totally donation based and bartering because I don't want money to get in the way of knowledge. And there's a lot of kids that's been reaching out to me. And I think it's important for us to connect with um, like the, the youth and the, tw you know, the youth, the youth. And the youth is in their 20s to me because I'm old. I'm an old ass bitch. But um, yeah, I just wanted to see and continue pushing. Go see Justice League. Also, um, go see Avatar. I was at a, ga um, a garage sale and I found this. So I picked it up. I'm going to rewatch it because it has something to say. And Beetlejuice. Now, Beetlejuice is... Mm, it was it was a show that we watched when we were kids, so it's a part of the constellation Orion, and it's a part of his belt. So that's a whole big thing about the triangle. Okay, so I found a connection between us and Orion, and there was supposed to be some like explosion and one of the things, and it's supposed to be like a nebula or something, and. And, you know, they were saying that it wasn't going to touch us. However, there's a huge, like, wormhole, like a black hole, you know, that sucks things in. So I think maybe it sucks some of that nebula stuff in and just spit it out over us. So we have all this new energy to work with. And so that's kind of where I bridged the gaps from um, astrology because I've been studying it for all my life, but uh, dedicated every day for five years. That's probably why people haven't seen me out. <laughs> um, and today's Friday and I was, I looked up on the, um, Wikipedia, what Friday means. And I just wanted to share a little piece of it. And so when I went there to look up what Friday means, I got this awesome little thing called, um, humbly to help. So 
Wikipedia is actually enlightened as well, and um, they want to take all commercials off of their website. And I think this is great because that's kind of what what I was feeling like. I don't want to charge anyone. Like people were reaching out to me, and you know, I charge 150 for a reading and a session, but I'm I can't I can't do that. Like I've worked all my life to get all of this. Like I'm still in debt to all my psychology that I've done. Like I haven't got paid back for that, but you know what I'm going to get paid back in, in, in like feeling good about myself and like giving back to everyone that I suffered like through school, you know, to get. So I have a degree in psychology and I finally get to use it and I just want to use it and not have money get in the way of people that, um, need help, you know? And so I had a, a few young children reach out to me, but they didn't have the money. I said, no worries. No, don't, don't let money get in the way of knowledge. And we should never do that. And people are waking up to all these advertisements that have been feeding our kids, like, like feeding them subliminally and unconsciously. We live in a consumeristic society. Everything is about money and mo money is the root of all evil. So it says in the Bible and there's very, there's some truths to the Bible, you know, there's connections to be made and for, to, from astrology to the Bible and to, um, where we are now. So it says, hi reader in the U S it seems you use Wikipedia a lot. And I think that's great. And I hope you find it useful. It's a little awkward to ask, but this Friday we need your help. We depend on donations, averaging 15, but fewer than 1% of readers choose to give. If you take a minute to keep Wikipedia growing, thank you. And let me see if I could just log out. I don't know if you're going to be cut off or whatever, but I have more. Okay, I wanted to ask, could you guys still hear me when I logged out? Can you give me a thumbs up or something? Are you guys all still there? Okay, good. Okay, so yes, you can still hear me when I when I looked at my Wikipedia on my phone because it's not showing it entirely on my laptop. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm going to read the rest of it, okay? Hang in there. Um, that's exactly what I've been going through, and Wikipedia fills it, and everyone is literally, um, a new energy came in, so we're all being awoken, and Really, just open your eyes and look around because the signs are out there. And make sure that you um, really believe in your dreams and um, what you want for your life. A new energy came in. Oh, my God. I don't know how that even happened. But um, it's weird. Okay. So I wanted to read or what you guys could actually look it up yourself. Just look up the meeting of Friday. Literally, Friday is... It says, for an example, the um, in Saudi Arabia, in Saudi Arabia, and the mid medieval times is no, that's Maldi Maldives, Maldives. Friday is the first day of of the weekend. With Saturday the second in Afghanistan, Friday is the last day of the weekend. With Saturday as the first day of the working week. Do you see? So. This is all speaking to us because it's Friday and it's December 1st and first is new beginnings. But we're at, um, we're at a new beginning because it's a new energy here. Um, so we just have to use it appropriately and just stay positive and, and believe in yourself and um, believe in your inner child that you've always wanted to do. Whatever that was, just go do it. And you won't regret it because everyone's there. Fear is always going to get in our way of our of our truth because, you know, you got to have that balance. But remember, just push it away. Just push it aside. Be like, get the fuck out my way. I'm on a mission. And hey, even look up Keith. Uh, what's that comedian's name? Keith? Ken? No. Uh, hold on. Let me look it up real quick. You need to tell. This guy makes me laugh like so bad. But anyways, the word for Friday in most romance languages is derived from the Latin dies ven venres or day of Venus, which I thought was interesting. It's translation of Greek and such as, okay, 
I don't know. I'm a horrible, I'm a horrible reader when it starts giving me like weird foreign words, but you read it for yourself. Oh, an exception is Portuguese. Oh, I'm Portuguese. Also a romantic language, which uses the word sexta fabia, whatever, uh, meaning sixth day of whatever that word is. Lit to girl celebration. I don't know. Must be cool. Must be fun. So Friday to some people is the beginning and Friday to other people is the end. So that's kind of the cycle. But yeah, look it up and you could read the the etymology. I don't know. I'm really not good with that kind of stuff. But I'm good at other things, okay? So we'll just keep it like that. Um, what else? Okay, so I recommended some movies to watch and some things to look up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Today I went to... That's right. That's where I began. Okay, I went um, to clean a house in Rodeo where I used to live. Well... Um, when I was a kid, there was like these huge tanks on top of this hill. Like if you were going over the hill to get to Hercules, right? They have a whole bunch of houses on top of there. Well, I was there and I was cleaning the house. Beautiful house. Oh my God. Beautiful family, beautiful house, everything great, right? Well, I noticed that the dog kept drinking hell of water, like kept drinking it, but it wasn't quenching his thirst. And he, and this dog kept telling me like, like, he ha- he was so bothered by something in the backyard. It was weird. He was like a half, a half and half, right? Um, a half breed pit and like lab or something and really wanted to go outside. And like, I let her out and she was barking and barking and barking with her hair standing up. And it kind of freaked me out a little bit. Not going to lie. I was like, Oh shit. Uh, mm, do you see this? to the lady. I was, do you see this? Because your dog's, you know, his hair standing up and he's barking up there. She's like, oh yeah, it's just a black cat sometimes that comes up there. And I was like, I don't see a black cat though. All right, whatever. Just whatever. Went on with my little world. And then she left and the dog continued to bark at me, like looking at me barking. And I was like, this is not right. Something's not right. So I opened the thing and I noticed that there's this huge dirt hill. Well, that dirt hill, the dog won't go on. Like the, I mean, dogs like, like running in dirt, right? No, the dog wouldn't go on that dirt. And the other dog, the black dog, cause that's the white dog. The black dog was drinking the water. And then I noticed before I left, all the water was gone. So I'm like, okay, there's something going on. So that's why I was like a little concerned about like water quality. And cause I don't drink, uh, normal water. I drink the, the filtered, uh, Kagan water now for about a year. And I feel a huge difference. And something told me that I should get like a, a shower, a shower filter as well, because most things are absorbed into the skin through our skin and not necessarily like drinking it. So I just wanted to just let you guys know what kind of downloads I got today. And I'm wishing you guys the best Merry, 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 Merry day for the first of December. It's going to be a big weekend, guys, so make sure to keep your eyes open and do your research. Don't always take things for face value, okay? Or did I say that right? Did I say that wrong? I don't know, but you, you get what I mean. All right, love you. Peace.